Hello everyone, welcome to another Rolex game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about local scripts. So, local scripts are a lot, a lot like scripts actually. In fact, I'm going to show, go over here to uh, basic objects, and I will show you, okay, no, and here is script, okay, and here's local script. Local script has the same icon as a script, except there's a little person there. Now, the difference between local scripts and scripts are that scripts are running on the Roblox server. Now, before I continue, actually, let me just note that I don't know every specific about this, but if you understand this concept, which may or may not be perfectly um, correct, but if you understand the majority of it, then you'll understand what local scripts are good for, okay? So, as I was saying, scripts are on the Roblox server all the way out in San Jose, I think, California, um, in Roblox headquarters. And local scripts, while they are still on the server out there, they run, again, don't, don't quote me, just understand the concept. They run on your machine, your computer. You see this computer that I'm pointing at right now? I'm pointing through your screen right now. The computer that your screen is hooked up to is what runs that script, okay? So it can be run, and that's how you can get local data, okay? So we're going to be using local scripts a lot as we continue through this series. Not necessarily using only local scripts, and we probably won't have a project that is built entirely off of local scripts, because local scripts, they're useful, but sometimes you need something that can work everywhere, and scripts are much more efficient at times. However, there are a lot of things that can only be done in a local script, okay? So, we're just going to go through um, making a quick local script. Now, local scripts are not unlike regular scripts. They still can't run in the player object. They have to be in the starter GUI, okay? So, here's how we're going to... We're going to put a local script. Now, local scripts could be in the workspace. They could be just about anywhere. But just for my sake, I like putting it in the starter GUI because that's where I run most things. I'm a GUI-centered scripter. Uh, so most of my stuff is put in to the starter GUI. I almost never really work in the workspace, okay? So in starter GUI, uh, let's insert a local script. So over here, we'll find local script. Here it is. Insert, and it comes up. It starts out just like a regular script, same print hello world, right? It's Like I said, there's no real syntax changes with local scripts there's just extra things you can do okay so I'm gonna show you guys these extra things you can do as we progress okay so local script right there now we're going to just make a script that prints the name of the player every five seconds okay so while true do end now we could if you look in explorer we could go print script which would be the local script that parent that parent that name we could do that that'd be really easy right yeah or or we could do in the script print game dot players dot local player dot name now remember this has to be in the function form uh, and I accidentally removed the e Let's add a wait three, because actually we'll just make it three seconds. Um, so local scripts, like I said, can do extra stuff. And how this works, this game that players that local player. Okay, if there's a player named local player, it's not gonna work all that great. In fact, it might actually mess up. But I don't think they can name anything lo anybody local player. But anyway, game that players that local player that name. Okay, so. It's going to the game, the explorer, you can kind of see that as game. That players, which you can't see right now, that local player, okay? So, the local player is 
just the name since it's running on the local machine this machine my laptop right now it would be running on here okay not the roblox server it's on the roblox server but it's not running there since it's on here it can tell us how it, it can load the local player which is the player you control from your machine okay it can load that and then it can throw on top of it okay on top of the local player it it can grab that stuff and it has data on the actual stuff that makes your game yours and you're not playing as everybody else or anybody else okay and there's a lot of other stuff so local player is the same as whoever you are okay I hope this makes sense the local player it's the local person the player playing on this machine that the script is running on I can't emphasize it more okay local player is you basically alright now it's not always you your local script may be working for other people on other machines but it's going to be them in that case okay I'm saying okay a lot. Eh, that's okay. Eh, you think it's okay, okay, right? Yeah, okay. So, I'm saying so a lot. Let's, let me change it up. Since we're using local script, we can use local player, okay? And then we're just printing their name. So, if we go to tools, test, and play solo, which I could have just pressed F6, but again, I'm changing it up. And again, Congrats, Rocket Gamer 10. That, that is just awesome. Uh, I really like it. Yeah. It's loading. You know, that splash screen seems to slow it down a little bit. Alright, here we go. I really need to get rid of this tool. Let's look down here. As you guys can see, every three seconds, it's popping up. Now, we still have our GUI over here that's running, but that's not local script. But down here, his name is changing. Now, you guys can't really see it. And actually, I'll go to command bar and just type in print hi. That way, you guys can see the separator there. Player 1. Player 1. Player 1. Player 1. Player one, two, three. player one. Okay, so it's working perfectly. It's printing our player's name by using local player. So hopefully you guys are grasping a little bit of the idea of local scripts. We'll be going into them more as time goes on. But um, basics, we got the basics, I think. Uh, the fundamentals of what the differences are between a local script and a real script. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, wherever it is, and please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.